What is going on guys? So yesterday I did a teardown of the iPhone 13 Pro and I swapped the boards from one device to the other device and I said that they hadn't really changed anything from the iPhone 12 Pro, which is not true. So I've been playing around with these phones a lot, trying to find out what Apple did this year, and I've finally found it. So screen replacements on an iPhone have always been risky because you risk damaging Face ID. This is an iPhone 12 Pro Max, and if I were to damage this component when transferring it over to another screen, it would damage Face ID and stop it from working completely. Apple has since gotten rid of that. They've merged the speaker to the actual housing, and over here all we have is a microphone, ambient light sensor, and proximity sensor. But there's a catch. So this piece is actually transferable from all screens. It doesn't hold any data corresponding with the Face ID as far as I could tell. But the thing that does is the actual screen. That's right. If you replace the screen, Face ID will no longer work, regardless of whether you damage this piece or not. Let me show you. So I'm going to open this up with my face. There we go. So you can see Face ID is working on this device. No problem. Everything's fine. What I'm going to do is take this phone disconnect the battery, remove the screen, and remove the earpiece speaker. Now I'm gonna do the same with this one. There we go. So this is the original screen for this device. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna swap the, the microphone, the ambient light sensor, and the proximity sensor from here to here and here to here. So we're just going to pry up on this. There we go. We'll remove that. And we're going to do the same with this one. There we go. Now we're going to swap them. So I'm going to put this one here. This one belongs on the other phone and this one belongs on this phone. So we're going to just do the swap. If you were to do this with the older devices, this would totally make Face ID unusable. So we did the swap. Now we're going to reconnect everything and see if Face ID works. There we go. We're going to turn on the device. Perfect. And I'm going to swipe to unlock. And I'm going to show you guys that Face ID is working. You saw that it just unlocked. Now I can use the phone. So we now know that the, the microphone, the proximity sensor, and the ambient light sensor have nothing to do with Face ID. They don't stop its function at all. So if I were to put the other screen on, let's see what happens to Face ID. We'll turn on the device. So we get the notification. It's the non-genuine screen notification. There we go. So it's a non-genuine screen. That's okay. We know that. And we know that the front proximity sensor, the front microphone, and the front ambient light sensor don't affect Face ID. So when we try and go and unlock our phone using Face ID, we can't. At all. That's pretty crazy. Ignore the little yellow on the top, it's a bit of heat damage. Okay, so let's try and go to Face ID and passcode settings. Now let's try and reset Face ID. Set up Face ID. Get started. Face ID is not available. Try setting it up later in settings. So you might be wondering what this means. Uh, it's bad. This is really, really bad. Basically, anytime you get a screen replacement, Face ID will be gone. You don't have to break anything, nothing has to go wrong. That's just how it is. So Apple are known to do stuff like this uh, when they roll out the phone and then they usually release an update fixing it. I hope that is what happens, but I don't think it will this time. So guys, that means if you go anywhere else but Apple or an Apple authorized repair shop, you will lose Face ID. Again, there are ways around it. You can always transfer these chips to the new screen, but most repair shops just won't do that. It's too sophisticated for them. I'm not really sure how I missed this in the last video, but this is really upsetting and uh, I really hope Apple fixes this. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. Let me know how you feel about this in the comments. I do not feel good. And I think the future of right to repair is not looking good for us.